Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can implement an in-app review dialog that comes straight from Google Play. So you can encourage your users to directly provide feedback, um, leave a rating inside of your app so they don't even need to leave it to go to Google Play. As you can see, this is how it looks like. This is an app I have in Google Play, which I built in my CI CD course on my website where I taught how you can implement a CD pipeline. So to automatically deploy your app to Google Play with a single click. That's not the topic here, but this is an app I just have in Google Play, which we need to have to be able to test this. But even if you don't have that, it's very interesting to follow this and you will definitely be able to finish the coding part to know how to implement it if you actually yeah, get to that point of actually publishing an app. So with this dialog, you can simply choose a rating here, for example, five stars, you can leave a feedback text. And then after doing that, you can hit submit, which doesn't work here because it's a test build. And that's a specific APK used for testing this dialogue um, for the exact reasons I will get into this video. But let's actually start with coding. This is my material calculator app that I have in Google Play. Of course, you would need to choose your specific app that you have in Google Play or you plan to deploy there. And I also already added the necessary dependencies for this review API from Google Play, which are these two. So you have a review KTX with the Kotlin specific functions that also use coroutines, things like that, and a general uh, review dependency, which you both need here. Make sure to add that to, uh, to Gradle and synchronize and then jump into main activity because adding this dialog is actually super simple. First of all, we want to add a function here, private function show feedback dialog. And in this function, we need a reference to the so-called review manager. That comes from the dependency we just added. So we can say review manager factory dot create, pass our application context to create that. And this will now give us access to show the dialog. Before we are able to show this, we first of all need to request the so-called review flow. That is an asynchronous operation, so that takes a little moment in which this API will simply check if your app is allowed to show that dialog. So it will first of all take your package name and check if there is an app in Google Play with that package name. And then it will also check if your quota is still fulfilled because you do have a quota with this API. You can show unlimited uh, review dialogues, of course, because that would annoy users. And Google actually also does not publish the quota of this. So how often you are allowed to show this dialogue, which is why I don't recommend to um, launch or to show this dialogue after the user pressing a button, because if the quota is not fulfilled, if you exceeded that quota, nothing will happen. So even if you press the button, nothing will happen and that will be very confusing UX. Also, as far as I know, this API does not tell you when the quota is exceeded. So after, if, if nothing happened after pressing that button, you don't know that. So you don't know if the, the, the dialog was actually shown or not. So I would only show that um, when you launch a specific screen, for example, where the user would not note that if actually nothing would happen. So to go on, we can say review manager, that request review flow, which returns a task here of uh, type review info. And this is an asynchronous thing. So we can add a callback and an uncomplete listener to listen for when this task is actually finished. And here we can then check if this task was successful. So if we successfully requested the review flow, then we are ready to show this. And then if that task was successful, we can say um, review manager that launch review flow launch review flow, which is also a task, but here we don't really need to listen for the result because um, yeah, we will just see the dialogue when the task finished. Here we need to explicitly uh, pass an activity, which is just this, and a review info, which is the result of our outer task. And if we then call this function directly here in onCreate, then we should be able to see this in our production app automatically if, you're, yeah, if the app with that package name is actually in Google Play and your quota is not exceeded. However, if you launch this, it's very likely you will see nothing. Um, maybe we see something here. I'm not fully sure and I need to simply draw my pattern here. Um, let's relaunch this. Yes, let's replace this. Take a look here. There's something I will show you in a moment. Um, no, we actually don't see anything, even though we uh, correctly implemented this review API. So why is that? Well, as I said, this is due to this quota Google Play has, but usually when we develop something, we still want to have a way to test this, right? Yes, and there are luckily ways to test this API despite of your quota being exceeded. And that is that's, that are actually two ways how we could do that. On the one hand, you could publish your app to the internal testing track. So in your Google Play console, this is my app, 
um, in a Google Play console, you could simply yeah, pu push your APK, your Android bundle to the internal testing track where you can only make it available to a specified list of testers. Since that's just a testing track, which is only used for testing, your quota won't be exceeded in that case. So your testers will always see that dialog when you call the function. And they will also be able to leave a review, by the way, so you can directly see this in, I think your Google Play Console here, but in, in that case, you can leave a review. However, since we don't want to make a, a, a new release here, which takes a little moment, and I think it also requires approval here, I'm not sure. Um, we want a quick way to test this, and that is what we call internal app sharing. So in your Google Play Console, for your app, you need to click on this internal app sharing, and the first time you open this, um, you will need to accept some terms and conditions here, and after that, you will get to this page. So that's really just the fastest way you can share an APK via Google Play with a specified list of testers. So you don't really need a separate release for that. You can just upload your APK, and then your testers will be able to download that. Um, so the testers you specify here, and of course, the email you linked with your account. To be able to test this, you want to then click on this link to get to internal app sharing. Make sure your correct email is logged in here and you can then simply drop your debug APK into this field to create a new internal app sharing link. So with that link, Google Play will give you, um, your testers can then easily download that APK without making a release. You can see I made two releases in the past to test this and to make a new one, we want to go to Android Studio, go to build, build bundle APKs and build an APK. So that will simply generate a debug APK, something you should really only distribute to your testers and not to your um, production audience. Um, but for testing, it's fine in the simplest way. So here uh, that building was successful. We can then click on locate, open this in our Explorer. If we then go to Google Chrome, open this and simply drag in our app debug APK that was generated into this field. We upload it and then after that upload succeeded, we will actually be able to choose a version. As you can see here, I'll just choose 1.0.2 because I already have the previous two versions and then we can click upload. And of course, this will only work if you accept the terms and conditions before in your Google Play Console as I showed you. So now that was successful and to get the link, you can simply click this copy icon here and you now need to transfer this link to one of your real Android device where you are logged into Google Play with an email that is specified in your email list here in the Google Play Console. So inside of uh, this one of these email lists, you add it here as um, testers actually. Um, so I will just log in with the same account. I'm logged into my Google Play console, but you can also specify different emails in your console here. Once you did that, it will look somehow like this. Right now I have a public version of this app installed on this device, as you can see here, and we need to uninstall this to install this internal app sharing APK. However, before you are able to do this, Google Play will actually send you to the Google Play settings because it's very likely you don't have this internal app sharing enabled on your Google Play account if you've never done that before. It will instead lead you to a settings page like this where you need to go to the about section and then tap seven times on this Play Store version. This is very similar to enabling developer options on your Android device. So just seven times and it tells me, yeah, no need, you are already a developer. Um, but if you've now done that in Google Play settings, you need to do that first before you can then go to general and developer options and enable this internal app sharing so that you can download and install test versions of apps uh, that someone shared with you. Once done, simply open the link again. It will show you a page like this. Let's uninstall this public version of this and reinstall uh, the internal shared version of this. So click install. Once that's done, we can then click open and it will then show our review dialog. So now you can successfully test this. It will show that every single time you launch this app, um, you won't be able to leave a review because it's an internal app sharing version, but you can test if this is successfully showing. And as soon as your APK or your app is then on the production track and available to all users, uh, the submit button will not be grayed out anymore and the reviews will of course be submitted to your real apps google play presence so i hope you enjoyed this video and you now know how you can easily encourage your users to rate your app directly inside the app if so you will definitely also love my ci cd course in which you learn how you can directly deploy your app with a cd pipeline so 
it's an automatic deployment. You don't need to drag in your APK in Google Play and set everything up. No, we will set up an automated pipeline that will directly do this when you, for example, merge a certain brand into another on GitHub. So if that sounds interesting to you, check the first link in this description to find that course. And apart from that, I wish you an amazing rest of your week. See you back in the next video. Bye-bye.